Hello everyone, how's it going? I have a quick little review of the NECA Stoneheart Predator. This is probably like my third take of trying to make this review just because my space isn't very big. If y'all know those bookcases you can get from Walmart, I'm, I'm currently operating out of that until I get my desk. My desk is taking a long time to get here, but I felt inspired to make this video because my uh, feral NECA Predator review did fairly well. Now this isn't going to be a fantastic review. I've tried multiple times to get this right, but the space I'm working with, the camera setup I'm working with, a lot of the equipment I'm working with in the space isn't very good because I got to reach around this whole big O-ring light. <sighs> and my depth perception isn't very good because I can't see. Like this ring is blocking literally. I have to operate through the camera. Um, but anyways, enough woe is me. I've done knocked over my entire backdrop of art troopers trying to make this video. I'm not going to really go over articulation because his is very minimal. Uh, good luck. Um, good luck to you without breaking something. Um, because he doesn't want to move from me. He's very stiff. But I'll go, we'll do a brief articulation. So he's got ratchets at the uh, hip. He's got hip ratchets. This doesn't want to move. And I guess this might be like a before you buy. Just know this. Oh, shit. This guy's great. Like visually, he's fantastic. When it comes down to the movement. He barely wants to move in these joints. And I feel scared moving the joints on these figures because I had them just straight up snap on me before. And again, I'm not ragging on the figure. I just think NECA's quality control could get a little better. I love NECA Predators. They're my favorite, you know, NECA line. I don't know what I love more, my Predator collection or my Star Wars collection. Um, but, you know, this guy's great. Despite all the things I've said about him, he's great. Person, uh, see, you really got to strain in order to get, like, his articulation to really... Move like his arms are pretty good, but he does not like to move. His head articulation is pretty great. Um, the batteries are dead inside of him because I left them on on the on the shelf. Uh, I was taking some photos. I forgot to turn them off. His batteries are dead, but his head does glow on those four lights on his head, and then his chest, and then I think some in the back. No, no. I think it's just the one in his chest right there. So, yeah, this guy's great. His He does struggle to stand sometimes, so I do usually prop him up against the back wall. Uh, he does have a mandible jaw articulation. And that thing, and let me just say, he does not like to stand. That is, these feet are just very loose. Like, they're, like, see, here, listen to that. That has a solid joint in there. And his, in his blades, they just, they cannot, the mold that they used, these things just do not, they just, they literally, they're not even friction fit. They just sit in there. Like, like, legitimately just, see, I can't even get it on there now. They just sit in there. They don't, they don't friction fit. They just sit in there. So they don't. Like, visually, this figure's amazing. If this falls out again, I think I'm just going to call it on the, the gauntlets. Um, I love this thing. I think he looks great. Um, he does fall over a lot, and that's something that you're just going to have to... You're just going to have to get used to. So I'm not going to apply these because, like I said, it is a freaking hassle. But he does come with two... He does come with two close hands... With the punching gauntlets. I'm not going to take those off either. Because as you see it is kind of a hassle. But he does come with closed. Oh god. Nothing wants to focus today. This is probably going to be my worst review of all time. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. Like I, I've definitely messed this review up. But I wanted to share my thoughts on it. It's more of my thoughts. I wouldn't even call this a comprehensive review. It's more of just my thoughts um, my shoulder still is pretty banged up. I don't really have a whole lot of strength out of it right now. 
Um, so I can't really wrestle with the articulation without causing myself some harm, and we don't want to do that. Because of rehabilitation, we want to get better. That's the idea. So I'm going to scoot him back. He's huge. So let's compare him to a G.I. Joe classified figure. That guy is huge. But I use G.I. Joe classified figures for my display. Um, to scoot him back as far as I can without bumping him over so you can get an accurate on how big he is. So I use Jeju Classified in my Predator display as the, um, as the, uh, like the humans that they fight. What does my pug want? Uh, but as you can see, he's big. He's really big. Uh, he, he towers over an already tall Predator, because as y'all don't know, this guy's built off the ADP body, and it's fairly tall compared to um, a regular Predator, which I probably should have grabbed a regular Predator, but I'm comparing him to Scarface here because he's the Predator that actually kills Stoneheart. Um, I'll, have, I'll have an actual review for this guy coming. Let me know if y'all want to see a review of Scarface. I think he's probably one of the best NECA Predators ever made, in my opinion. Not biased. He is my favorite. Um, didn't, maybe because I love the game. I don't know. But this has been my brief uh, overview of the NECA Stoneheart Predator. And um, maybe when I get better and I start feeling better, I can wrestle with this articulation. But I felt like really sharing this with you guys. Um, just because I think that... I think that he's great. But those of y'all who have the Assassin Predator and don't know if you want to get this, guy's been out for a while, but if you're on the fence and you happen to see this, just know what you're getting into. He's big. He doesn't like to move. Um, he has cool light-up effects, but again, like I said, he doesn't like to move. He comes with two pairs of hands, two mandibles to replace, which are the ones that are on his face now, and then four metal blades on each gauntlet. Um, that was it. That's it. Those are the only accessories that he comes with. Um, that being said, he, his pricing is a little expensive. I know that he's, because he's bigger, he's like a deluxe, um, but don't pay $60 for this guy. You can find this guy all over the place for around 45 bucks. I wouldn't pay like some of the, like the different stores that I see have this guy listed for like $65. I don't think it's worth $65. Um, he's cool. Now, I do have a bias. I absolutely love this figure because I, I like the video game, Concrete Jungle. Um, that being said, you know, he does have his major flaws. I feel like there's more flaws about this guy than, um, than there are, like, pros. Um, and if you want to see, like, a really in-depth review... I'd recommend checking out D Amazing at YouTube. Uh, that is his handle, D Amazing. Um, I think that's it, or Amazing D. I think it's D Amazing. I think it is, yeah. So I used to watch his Predator reviews. I still do. I still watch his Predator reviews. Um, I think he had a pretty good one. Uh, review Spot has a good review on this guy. Uh, if you want a more longer review, and I know this is pretty short compared to my uh, normal reviews. I know I'm kind of just rambling because there really isn't much to like review on this guy. He's just a big hulking predator who will do who will make a fantastic focal point on your collection. If you, uh, you know, this guy is going to be displayed right in the back. You, you can put him in the back. He will be really. He will be really. Uh, He'll be very easy to see. I don't know why I'm tripping up on my words so much. Um, his lights are amazing. Uh, they definitely died very quickly. I didn't have them on for very long, and his batteries died within a day. Because I think I had them left on like a week ago, and I noticed they were dead like within the next day or two. Because I, and yeah, two days of worth of battery time. It's pretty good, but if you happen to forget, they're dead, and I probably won't ever replace them because I've never replaced the batteries in any of my figures. Um, if it sounds like I'm not enthused, I am, but, like, he's not 
perfect. And of course, no figure's really truly perfect. Um, but I feel like he could have came with a little bit more accessories. Um, maybe, I don't know, something else. But yeah, um, this has been my little quick comprehensive breakdown. It's not really a review. It's just a breakdown of the NECA Stoneheart Predator. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please, if there's anything else I can do, the lighting, this is as best I can do right now. Um, so please leave a, leave a, leave a suggestion on what I can do better. This isn't really been a review, so I won't really title this a review. This has just been my thoughts, quick thoughts. And that's going to be a series that I do where I quickly break down what I think about something and let me know what you think about it. Um, and if I do happen to do a full review on this guy, uh, which in my current setup with this small bookshelf and the camera equipment that I have, it's not going to really be possible right now with a figure this size. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know what I can do better. If you like what I do, check out some of my other videos. Uh, drop a like if you want to, if you like it. Uh, subscribe because I've usually put out a couple of videos a week. Um, right now I've been on con leave. Um, so I haven't exactly been working, uh, because of my shoulder surgery. Um, so I'm probably going to be putting out videos a little bit more than I would normally whenever, uh, I get back to work. Probably will be down to about two videos, um, a week. Um, I review all kinds of things. Uh, if there's a great figure out there that you think that I should review, um, like if they're like, hey, this figure is amazing, you should give it a review and tell me what you think about it. Uh, I know I've rambled for a hot minute, but I'm I'm still new. I'm still trying to get my name out there so people will tune into my stuff. So whatever you like and how you like it, I want to make my content accessible to all. I think in my last video I said agreeable. Now, I don't want to be a yes man, but I want to make my content better for the the viewer and I you know I'm I'm here for you guys I'm doing this so y'all can have a, a a view of something and see if you like it I'm quite critical on certain things and and I'm not sponsored by anyone obviously I do everything pretty rudimentary one take reviews is what I do my dog's in the background throwing a hissy fit so I think it's about time for me to go uh again thank you all uh, for tuning in this has been a painful review. It hasn't been the best, but it's not even a review. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.